I have been very optimistic about climate change until the last three weeks um, because it has shifted what I believe will be President Obama's agenda. Um, the first year will be all about the financial system and the recession, pushes health care to the second year um, with fewer resources. Um, and climate change poses a particularly difficult problem because people's sensitivity about energy is all about higher prices. And climate change policies, by definition, raise energy prices. Um, or raise energy pr prices for energy which is carbon intensive. However you want to go about it, whether it's through cap and trade, which I think is not a very efficient way to do it, or through a carbon-based tax, which I think is. Um, I think eventually we will move to um, uh, a carbon-based tax system in which we have a tax shift, i.e., we impose a tax based on the carbon content of energy, we take the revenues and we return it to everybody. So you're changing relative prices within energy um, and um, without dampening growth. As an economist, that's what makes sense to me. In the meantime, however, um, uh, the economic issue with respect to job creation and income generation is, uh, is about insulating the United States, the economy from uh, making it less exposed to large price increases that come from outside the system. Um, and the only way to do that is to increase our reliance on um, non-oil-based energy forms, which will take two generations, and to increase our energy efficiency. Um, and that's the, that's the largest present opportunity. And I believe in the current context, despite the fact it's not where I would normally go, in the current context, because I think climate change is um, uh, a slow motion emergency, um, I, and because I think it will be politically the easiest course to take, I think that we are going to move towards much more regulation of energy efficiency.